Hey guys, just a quick tutorial today on how to use sub X sheets in open tunes. Uh, sub X sheets are a really great way to categorize and group um, potentially many levels and columns of animation information into a nice convenient single column on your main X sheet or indeed even within sub X sheets themselves. So what I've got here is a bit of animation where we have stillness and then we hit frame 50 and this cockroach scurries into frame, stops, turns his head, tilts it a little bit, turns his head back, and that's what we have so far. This cockroach is comprised of different levels. He's just a standard cutout animation with individual levels for each leg, the head, the antennae, the mouth, and the body. And, and they're all animated individually, separately, like you do with the skeleton tool and all of that information is stored in this single column. So, what I want to happen next is the cockroach is going to then turn and run to the top right of the camera, run away from the camera, to around here. And so what I've done is I've created cutouts for the cockroach sort of at an angle away from the camera. So what we're going to go ahead and do Let's take all our parts and we want them to show up right after the other one disappears right here at 139 so then and now normally we could just take each of these we'll go down to 170 we'll make 170 the end of this animation normally we could go ahead and take each of these individual parts and and group them together appropriately and then go ahead and uh, animate them right here in our, our X sheet. But to save space today, what we're going to do is create a sub X sheet. So to create a sub X sheet, you select all the columns that you want to be part of your sub X sheet. You come up here to X sheet and click collapse. I'm just going to include the columns for now. And as you can see, all of those columns disappeared and this new column appeared, this per another purple one here. And what this is, is a representation of the sub X sheet. Now if we go ahead and open it up, we go over here to X sheet, and click open sub X sheet. As you can see, now we have a basically your, your standard X sheet. And this, this functions exactly like a regular X sheet. And you can tell by looking right here, that is a sub X sheet within your main X sheet. Now I'm just going to use my rotation tool, I'm the edit tool, rotation, and I'm going to set keyframes for each of these levels at 139. All right, now I can go ahead and do a little bit of animation. All right, so now we have all this animation taking place right here. Let's close this X, sub X sheet, return to our main X sheet. We do that by going to X sheet, close sub X sheet. Now we're back. So now, in order to get all the information that's stored in this sub X sheet to become imprinted, if you will, onto these frames, you click right click here and you click resequence. And now, we have all, you can see our little character here, all that animation we just did is occurring as it should be. Now I'm going to go ahead and reposition him. And as you can see, and then I can take this sub X sheet as a whole and manipulate it here on my main X sheet with keyframes and everything. All right, and he scurries away. So let's start our, put our start marker here and we can loop this and see what we've got. It's not too bad. A little rough when he turns. But you get the picture. Now I have all of this, what would have otherwise taken up, you know, seven or eight columns in my X sheet is now conveniently placed in this single sub X sheet, which I can open up at any time and manipulate 
and then close, and then of course, resequence, and it will all be placed into these individual frames, all my changes. One more thing I should note. Within a sub X sheet, you can add more sub X sheets. I could then take those individual columns, just like I do in the regular X sheet, highlight them, and collapse them. And there you have it. You have another sub X sheet within a sub X sheet. 